This is Live at Noon. <laughs> a new Milwaukee energy plant is turning food and beverage waste into power. Energy, we need it. The question is how to get it always. And there's a deep debate on whether there are better sources that can generate electricity besides coal. Today in the Menominee Valley, the grand opening of a new plant that aims to turn waste into clean fuel. There you go. <laughs> and with that, the official grand opening of Potawatomi's $20 million new renewable energy plant. The facility takes food and beverage waste from Wisconsin and neighboring states and turns it into electricity. Okay, now that we're getting energy efficient, um, can we produce our own green energy? And uh, technically, you know, one of the goals we want to be is off the grid if there is such a thing anymore. The plant, located one block west of the tribe's Menominee Valley Casino, creates a methane gas burned in an engine which generates the renewable electricity. That electricity is sold to We Energies. It's enough energy to power 1,500 homes. We're capturing energy that used to be wasted, and we're reducing greenhouse gas emissions um, significantly. Local leaders praise not only the environmental friendly process of generating energy, but generating growth for the community. This now puts it to over $200 million, the current or recent investment in the city by the Potawatomi. You've got $150 million in the hotel, you've got $36 million in the data center in the Concordia neighborhood, and now $18 million in this biodigester. That's a huge investment. And the plant was up and running about a month ago. Governor Scott Walker was slated to appear at the Potawatomi plant's grand opening this morning, but he was a no-show. He sent Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Cleefish in his place. She didn't have the specifics on why he changed his plans. Event planners weren't given a reason either. Did he have just a change of plans today, or what, why, why isn't he here? Because he was slated to be here. Well, you'll probably have to talk to a scheduler about that. I don't do that. Um, but I... I can tell you he is going to be in New Richmond, um, and he's going to be at Beloit High School, and I imagine at Beloit High School he's going to be talking about Manufacturing Month because we still are facing the skills gap in Wisconsin. Many wonder if Walker was a no-show due to the casino decision he has been mulling over. We should know this week what his thoughts are on the proposed $200 million Hard Rock Casino for Kenosha. Well, new today at noon, a Kenosha man has been arrested.